All right. Good morning, Rick. Morning. They'd probably rather see you than food at this point. You think so? I think so. I don't know about that. Well, we have to start the vlog with our breakfast because that's what we've done every single day pretty much. And so today we have a Mexican frittata, bacon, toast. Uh, we have lemon blueberry muffins here. Rick got a bagel with cream cheese. I got Mostly some fruit. Mostly because I wasn't sure how I would like the frittata. Yeah, but it smells so good. And orange juice. And I'm going to make coffee in a little bit when I go downstairs. But look at that. That is a lot of food. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we obviously didn't order enough. Yeah, I don't think we did. <laughs> it looks delicious. So we are going to chow down and then head on our tour of the little towns of Cape Cod, right? Mm, that would be fun. All right, guys. So we are heading out today to go check out all the shore towns and see what we can see along the Cape. So come along with us. I am wearing this cute little crop sweatshirt, kind of pulling it off with the baby bump there today. He's definitely growing. Rick's lounging there in the back on the bed. <laughs> but we just had a great breakfast, as you saw. And now we're going to get out and go. I got these maternity leggings, if you're watching and you're pregnant, from Amazon. And they are the most comfortable, supportive uh, maternity leggings. Really nice. So, anyway, we're going to go and have some fun. You notice this cute touch. The ties on the doors. So cute. This is whales, little cute whales. So cute, pretty cool. So here we are. This is the beach at Chatham, and we were looking for a lighthouse. This is supposed to be Lighthouse Beach, and we finally found it across the street over there. There's the lighthouse. So pretty cool. What do you think, Rick? Yeah, it's nice. This is where it at is at these original gourmet lollipops and especially in grape juicy grape mm, they're really hard to find but they are the best if you can find a juicy grape one it's called original gourmet we stopped at a Cumberland Farms and they had slices of pizza for 99 cents so I got a slice of pizza and Here's Rick. Rick got this whopping. <laughs> I didn't get that. You got that. <laughs> we used. This is what he literally said to me. Paige, can you? <laughs> I said I was hungry because we're gonna have like a seafood dinner, hopefully or whatever. That's our goal all the time if we can find the outdoor dining place. But on the way out, back from Provincetown, we're gonna stop and have like a seafood dinner or whatever. And so he was getting gas, and he literally said, "Give me something sweet, some pastry or something." Yeah, so, so I'm like, what so do you want? She, you know, she got me this, which was awesome. That's that, that's perfect. That's me. <laughs> that makes sense. And, and chocolate milk definitely that makes sense. That is you. But like, but you don't need to give me like a huge, humongous chocolate milk. Oh yeah, it's just the person who goes into Heritage and goes, should I get the small one or the big one? But what you know, I, I didn't ask you for milk. <laughs> I said, give me a pastry. <laughs> well, I was being nice. Yes, thank you. I was being thoughtful. Yeah, was thoughtful. And it was only two dollars. I could have gotten you a tiny one for two dollars. So, I bought the value. But we have no cooler, so that's probably why he's stressed. So he had to go get pizza, so he has something to drink, eat with the chocolate milk. And I got some Fritos, because I was craving that, and some Snapple. Did you wash your hands? No, he didn't wash his hands during Corona time. Can you believe it? What did I touch? The that. card. All right, all right, we'll let it slide. Rick. We went into a toy store in Chatham and the lady recommended going- That's good chocolate milk. To the, see? <laughs> um, 
the lady recommended going to the Chatham Bars Inn for lunch. Well, it's like $60 a person to do that, and we weren't that hungry because we had a huge breakfast, so that's why we just stopped here to get gas. So we got a little snack, and we'll head to Provincetown, and uh, your hair here is like eternally windblown because of the wind and the ocean all the time. It's kind of funny, but we're having a good day so far, aren't we? Do you like that pizza? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's a little weird, but it's all right. So we were just listening to some random music and look at that. Always on your mind, Paige. Yep, that's pretty much how I feel. <laughs> So we're entering Provincetown and I just missed, it looked like a desert coming in here. All right, we are here in Provincetown and having a good old time. We're gonna go and see if we can find some sunglasses because Rick has been wanting sunglasses and actually around here it's mandatory that you wear a mask. If you don't, then they can like tell you and come after you and stuff, so we're wearing our masks. Rick is fixing his mask at the moment. Mine looks really crooked. <laughs> yeah. It was like, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's, there's two for one soft serve across the street. But anyway, we're gonna go find some stuff and baby's doing good today in there. I think it's still crooked. Yeah, it's, it's so crooked? It's still crooked. I think you look fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you hold the camera crooked it looks fine. <laughs> yeah. I think it's someone's house. You think it's somebody's house? <laughs> no. Oh my, don't show that. No. Nope. Okay. Yeah. This is obviously creepy. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Rick. I like your new sweatshirt. Thanks. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. He splurged on a Cape Cod fancy sweatshirt. Fancy. Yep. Fancy. Well, it wasn't exactly cheap, but it looks cute. And you definitely need it while outside dining. That's yep. a little hint for our upcoming funny video that we have that will soon be edited and up on our channel maybe when we get back from our trip. But we are here at Spanky's Clam Shack and it's in Hyannis. And it's really nice actually, this outside dining here. You can see it's really nice. And we got, we actually have salt and pepper this time, which is quite amazing. <laughs> in paperweights. And, and yeah, <laughs> so you can hold things down because they're heavy. But we got our water. What'd you get to eat? Uh, chowder. Clam chowder. And no, I got... It's chowder. Chowder. And I got some... <laughs> you got a little more sun on your face. Yeah. And I got some cod. I've been wanting to get cod broiled with all that good stuff. Alright, he's got a soup. There it is. Looks good. Good? Good. And I got this baked cod. I really love to get that with the lemon butter and green beans and some french fries. I'm gonna take a bite of this fish. Mm. Just like I wanted. It's tender, it's flaky, it's flavorful. You'll have to try it, Rick. I love it. Very good. And it's supposed to be locally caught, which is always nice to know that it's fresh. We're just getting back from our trip and this is cute. It says just married on their car. I don't know if you can see that, but I guess they're here on their honeymoon. Okay, where are we going? We're on a mission to find something. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I thought you said we were on a mission. Oh, was that for the thumbnail? That was for the mission. <laughs> okay, well, we're um, gonna go somewhere. So I've always wanted to try one of these blue masks and our place actually had them outside the door like to take. So I grabbed a blue mask so I can finally understand what all the hype is about having a blue, what looks like a surgeon's mask or I don't know. Is there hype around this? <laughs> I don't know, everyone has them, everyone. 
I like the ones my mom made actually 10 million times better. But anyway, it's in my car now, our car now, just in case. Because you never know, you might need it. And we're going to go find something, right? Well, yeah, hopefully. What are we finding? You wanted to find some ice cream. He blames this on me. <laughs> I don't even eat ice cream, barely. I go along for the ride. Uh, we walked out and somebody on the balcony up, there's like... <laughs> That's what they were doing on the balcony. Yeah. They were having a little party on the balcony. It's just a couple. But I guess they were having fun with their music and whatever they were doing up there. So that was kind of interesting. But everyone's been really nice and calm here. It's been a really great place. So if you ever come to Cape Cod, make sure to stay at Inn on the Sound in Falmouth. Because it's definitely, hands down, one of the best inns slash B&Bs we've ever been to. Probably, right? Wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah, definitely. Breakfast is good. Rooms are beautiful. Views are beautiful. You know, I think the sad thing is part of that experience is probably because we got to take, pick exactly what we wanted for breakfast and take it back to our room. Yeah. Versus like sitting in the main area and having to eat everything because they're watching you. Yeah, literally, like it's been so fun to actually pick what you want for breakfast and then actually take it to your room to dine. But that's sad to say because, you know, part of the bed and breakfast experience is that you all kind of just are together and talk and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Yeah, which is nice, but this has been fun to just focus on each other, and we have enjoyed that. Mike's cleaning his windshield. All right, we're gonna go find something, and we'll show you what we find. Okay, we made it. Show them what we got. We got Dairy Queen. Mm. I like never get this, <laughs> ever. So we, we go to another state, and the best that we can find is Dairy Queen. No, no they have other ones. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not the best that we could find. It's just we were feeling lazy, and we were like, oh, there it is. Let's just go there. Mm. I've never had this before, believe it or not. Like ever, um, it's pretty good. Sometimes ice cream upsets my belly, so I don't like to eat ice cream too much. I went with the Oreo cheesecake blizzard, but then I asked him to put in peanut butter because mm -hmm. that's like my favorite thing right there is peanut butter Oreo cheesecake. It's like you can't get any better than that. Mm-hmm. Mm. What do you think? Mm-hmm. It's great. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are gonna enjoy this. I don't know what else we're doing. Maybe we will take a little drive. But okay. anyway, thank you for watching this video. We hope you are enjoying our Baby Moon series here on our channel. We have three days left, I guess. One of those being the day we travel home. So we will still be vlogging though all through that, I'm sure. And then I get to pick up Reed. And Rick actually has to work on Friday, so that kind of stinks. But I'll either be going to pick up Reed Thursday night or Friday morning depending on how tired we are from traveling because it's quite a long drive. And my tailbone sometimes hurts sitting in the car for a long time. So we'll see what time and all that gets worked out. But we will be seeing Reed soon, which is super exciting. And I'm sure he'll be excited to see us too. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this. Keep watching each day to catch up on what we're doing. We have lots of fun planned and we're just having a blast. All right, give this video a like and we'll see you in the next video.